Hi guys, Lewis here with this week's edition of Piranha Bites. So, um, opposite to my normal form, the two that I've picked to highlight this week don't include a DC book. Um, I will start with an indie one, Ordinary Gods. Uh, I found this really cool, um, but I say that every time Kyle Higgins releases something. Um, I really like him, I think he's a really underrated writer. Um, I'm trying to think what people would mainly know him for. It'd either be his Power Rangers stuff at Boom, uh, his New 52 Nightwing run, which I'll talk about a bit more in a minute, um, and there's an image comic called Cow. Um, so this is just his latest indie release. In fact, he's currently doing Radiant Black at Image as well, which I really enjoy. Um, it's kind of like Invincible meets Power Rangers, funny enough. So a real fun book. Uh, Ordinary Gods, um, very different direction, but not in a bad way at all. Um, it's about, it almost got a kind of Wicked and Divine feel to it in terms of it's about the reincarnation of gods and the main character you follow happens to be the latest incarnation and he didn't know it. Um, attempted murder happens and then um, he encounters like um, Jehovah's Witness style organisation and they kind of touch him and he kind of wakes up to um, past lives that he's lived. So um, not a lot to go on, a lot of um, building up within the issue but what it sets up is really interesting so I uh, really recommend it. And as I said a minute ago um, I would go on and talk about his Nightwing stuff. This is my like sort of golden oldie from the vault pick. And I swear to God, this this run got criminally underrated. And the only reason for it was that Nightwing had the red logo on his chest. I think that's ridiculous myself, but horses for courses. Uh, I'd put not quite the same level, but not far off the Chuck Dixon stuff, which is like the definitive Nightwing run. Um, yeah, easily an 8, if not a 9 out of 10. Probably an 8. I'm maybe being a bit overly generous because I've got a lot of love for Nightwing. Um, but I love run you know him having a good run which is why as i've said in previous editions of this the current nightwing is probably my favorite book coming out right now because i get to shout about dick Grayson again no i love doing that um, and the other new release that i've picked to highlight because you can't not on a week like this x-men number one um so true to form it's very heavy very cerebral and it's keeping in tone with what it's, it's, it's still more Dawn of X. You can see from the logos and everything, it's still styled that way. Um, so it's more, as long as you guys have been enjoying the Dawn of X stuff, you will get on with this. I will say no more on it in case I spoil something. So there's a hint there. Uh, and then the other ones I've chosen to highlight. This is massive bias for me, but I don't care because it's I'm doing the video. Well, Finite Issue 32 facsimile. So obviously that's not a series, it's just a reprint of a one-off, but... If you didn't know the significance of this issue, first appearance of Moon Knight. I love Moon Knight. He's one of my favourite characters. I can't wait for the new series to start. Um, Jed McKay is aware of a group called Moon Knight Core. If you've not heard of them, check them out because their stuff's hilarious. And um, yeah, they just do really good Moon Knight memes. But either way, there's a lot to look forward to if you're a fan of Moon Knight because you've got the series coming out and you've also got the TV show coming out soon. So for those who want a little slice of history your chance to get one and not for hundreds of pounds and possibly a kidney uh next one i've chosen to highlight nice house on the lake issue two uh, the issue one sold so fast i didn't even get a chance to read it because it flew off our shelves um and james tinney in the fourth a is smashing it with almost everything he does he's getting great reviews and also um he, horror is his wheelhouse and next up is uh Masters of the Universe Revelation, um, written by Kevin Smith, and celebrating the fact that Dark Horse now have the rights to print He-Man stuff. Um, if you're a He-Man fan, check it out, because I know little about He-Man, except that um, Skeletor isn't happy with He-Man almost all of the time, and has an obsession with laying siege to Castle Grayskull. That's my two cents on that one. Uh, next up, one I'm quite excited for, um, Justice League Infinity. Uh, because it's by J.M. DiMatteis and seems to be the continuation of what was going on in the cartoon all those years back, which I watched so long ago I can't remember it, and that might be a little depressing. But oh well. Um, Justice League have been... like the, This isn't the first miniseries they've released recently that is really worth your time, because Last Ride by Chip Zarsky, which I think I talked about in a previous one as well, really good. Um, I've not read the, the like main run, recently so i don't know what that's like but 
couple of their miniseries, well worth a check out. Uh, new issue one by Black Mask, which doesn't happen often. God killer issue one. Um, nice Peach Momoko cover. She's re been really taking off lately. And um, yeah, the art looks really good. I've not. It looks quite manga esque actually. But I've not had a chance to check this out. But just as a general policy, pick up any Black Mask number one. A because it's nine times out of ten you're in for a treat. Also, they deserve the support. They're a really good publisher. They're really small. They need all the help they can get, and they put out good stuff, so they deserve it. Next one up on AWA, Fight Girls by Frank Cho. He's writing and drawing this. Um, so for those, there's some people that were maybe thinking he was only doing the cover or something. Nope. Next place to get your Cho art is right here. And um, one of his many sketchbooks, because if you check him out on Instagram, he seems to be doing a lot of those. So check him out on Instagram if you want more of his art. And finally... One to highlight out of uh, this week's bunch. Extreme Carnage. Now, obviously, he's getting quite a lot of series recently because the red, white, and black and all that sort of stuff happened. Absolute Carnage wasn't too long ago, even though it seems it. Um, yeah, and we all know why. Film's coming out soon. We're all pretty excited. So that's it for this week, and I'll see you next week for the next version of Piranha Bites. Piranha, white, white, white. Piranha, Piranha. Piranha, white, white, white. Piranha, piranha, piranha. Piranha.